Y'all know this can't be good. Not good for my pockets. What up, what up? Jeff Joseph back with another video. Listen, see the thumbnail, you see the title, so you already know what I'm about to talk about. But listen, before I do, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notification, and don't forget the cash giveaway is still gonna happen as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers. But listen, <sighs> damn, gotta get a new tire. Coming through Memphis was rough. I don't know if I'm the only person who has this issue or who had this issue, but Memphis roads are toe up and they tow my tire up and I gotta get a new one. A new front steer tire. Uh, stay tuned if you wanna know how much this, this repair is gonna cost. Uh, it's not cheap, man, it's not, it's not cheap. Y'all y'all put in the comments below what y'all think it's gonna be. Y'all think 200? 300, 600, 800. Put it in the comments, let me know what y'all think. But I'm gonna take care of this. Get Big Bertha back on the road with a fresh new set of front tires. And uh, uh, get back with y'all and run it with y'all about the things I don't like about trucking. There's a couple of things, but I'm gonna talk about the number two things that I really hate about trucking. And um, I didn't know it would be like this going into it. Nobody warned me, nobody told me, but I'm gonna run it with y'all as soon as I get this taken care of. I tell y'all all about the next load as soon as I find out the next load and I get back with y'all. All right, y'all, so just finished up, finally back on the road. Got my guy here, tell me your name, where you from? My name's Caleb, I live over in Roan County, just a little bit small town. Uh, I'm working here while studying automotive engineering. Went a little bit above and beyond what I had to do. I had to drive about 30 minutes, get him a spark, but I've got him back on the road and that's what matters. Yep, yep, definitely went above and beyond. Took good care of me, uh, back on the road. Um, one thing I wanted to say, this guy is definitely the epitome of what I always talk about, about keep going and growing. Um, he's not letting anything stop him. He got his associate's degree way before he even finished high school. I think yep. that's just a major thing. Like. That's what I always be saying, just keep going and keep growing and, and things will work out better than you even expected. You know, I'm sure he didn't even think about that when he first started out. But he got his associates before he even graduated high school and he has a complete plan of you know what's gonna happen next. And you know, he got goals and he's gonna achieve them. So you wanna shout out your Instagram or your car channel or anything like that? Um, I just got a Instagram account for my car. I put a lot of work into it. It's 14 Mazda Slow 3. Um, on there, just a bunch of pictures of my car. I'm, playing, I'm thinking about actually starting a YouTube channel documenting me actually doing the work itself. It was actually him that gave me the idea. I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this information in the description below uh, for y'all to check him out. Make sure that you give him a like, you know, follow his channel and follow his Instagram and everything else like that. So make sure you tap in with my guy. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. Alright y'all, so it is a whole new day and I done picked up a load, I done dropped off a load, and I done picked up another load all before I had a chance to turn the camera back on. So much that I want to say, so I'm going to just go ahead and get it all out. So, first things first, uh, how much did that repair cost me, okay? For those of you who guessed $600, 
Um, congratulations because you had the right answer. Um, it actually cost about 620, 618. I'll put something up here so y'all can see. Um, but at the same time, that's the second tire that I had to put on, the front steer tire. I had to get another one two weeks ago. I just didn't show y'all. But uh, two, three weeks ago, I had to get, a, get one for the, the right side of the vehicle. Um, and it, they're not cheap. The least expensive option that they had, put nicely, that's the cheapest option that they had, um, $600 for um, one tire, um, $1,200. You know, it gets it starts to add up. Somebody in the comments gonna say, you know, you could probably just get used tires. You can't get used tires on the front tires at places like Love's or wherever. Like they're not gonna do used tires on the front. You could do used on the back tires all day long, but used on the front tires, they're not gonna do that. You might be able to get away get away with it at um, a local shop, uh, but when you're out OTR, uh, you pretty much gonna have to go to like Love's or I mean, unless you could research and figure out where mom and pops might do something like that but you gotta do, you know, new tires. That's the only way. Now, like I said, you could do used on the back tires, but you gotta do new on the front. Right. Next, for those of you who are wondering about the load that I um, picked up and dropped off, um, the load was paying 260 a mile, so it was a pretty good load. Um, it ended up being like two over 230 with my deadhead, and it was going from um, Sparta, Tennessee to uh, Bristol, Indiana, right? And then I picked up a load 15 miles away from my drop off. So if you wanna know more about that load, stay tuned to the next video and I'll talk about it in that one. But yeah, 500 miles, um, paying 260 miles, pretty good load. That's the formula, y'all, you know, 1,000 a day. Anything paying more than 1,000 a day, you could win. Um, so yeah, 260 a mile, like I said, ended up being over, over 230, um, which is not bad. So um, now I'm on this load, and like I said, stay tuned to the next video, and I'll tell you about that load. Now, I'm gonna finally get into what I'm supposed to be talking about, which is supposed to be the whole point of this video. I'm just now getting to um, the top two things that I really, really dislike. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I really hate about trucking. So number one, I kind of just talked about it a little bit earlier, uh, is the expenses. So many things that you have to pay for just to keep the wheels rolling, just to make money. And there's unexpected expenses as well. Like it just, you know, it never stops. Like it's always something, um, it's unexpected. You gotta just keep rolling with the punches and um, you know, you gotta pay the cost to be the boss. And I knew that part going in, right? Like that's not what I'm, you know, I, I was surprised about. Kind of, You kind of gotta know that you gotta spend money when you're out here um, trying to make money. But at the same time, you know, when you actually gotta do it, you don't wanna, you don't wanna actually do it. I mean, you gotta do it, but you don't wanna do it, but you gotta do it anyway if you wanna keep making money. So the expenses just, you know, it eat away at your profit, but like I said, it costs to be the boss. So, all right. So the number one thing that I really hate about trucking is how all these subcategories of trucking, um, how all these different people that have their hands in the pot, trying to get a piece of the pie, act like truck drivers are not the heartbeat of this business. They kind of like treat you like, like you secondary, like kind of treat you like they don't need you, like you're disposable, but you're the one doing everything. And I don't understand like how they get away with some of the stuff they get away with. Like for example, with the brokers who be double brokering like that and taking all the money out the driver's pocket. Like I don't understand like what type of games they playing and like how they get away with it. I don't understand that. I don't understand like how uh, brokers are so disrespectful. Like they hang up in your faces and stuff like that. I don't understand how like a lot of people in this industry act like truck drivers are somehow doing everybody else a favor when in all actuality it's the other way around and i just don't get that mentality um i'm over generalizing right now i'm not saying that it's everybody but it is a you know a large majority of the people in this industry who have this mentality and it don't really make sense to me like oh comment below let me know your thoughts on this like have you ever been disrespected um brokers hanging up in your face and uh, people trying to get over on you and just like I don't, I don't know let me know your experiences am I, am I, am I the only one out here experiencing this or, or what but like I feel like like they really act like truck drivers are not the, the, the heart and soul of this industry I mean it, it's trucking I, I don't get it I don't like it um, I try to you know go along to get along but it really does bother me like when brokers are just disrespectful um, 
again, this is not everybody, right? Like, I'm not saying that all brokers are like this, all dispatchers are like this, all whoever. Like, I'm not saying, you know, that everybody is like this, but there are people out there who treat truck droppers like this, and it don't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, so, but yeah, that is the number one thing that I dislike the most about truck driving box trucking is the disrespect from the different angles shout out to all the truck drivers and box truck drivers who have to deal with all these different personalities on a day-to-day -day basis and kind of just navigate the system and figure it all out and deal with all these messed up attitudes all the time and shout out to the people who are respectful to truck drivers and who are just good people in general you know the di good dispatchers out there the good brokers out there shipping and receiving all the you know everybody who is respectful and treat others how they would want to be treated shout out to y'all um i'm not you know i'm over generalizing but there is a lot of disrespect going on in this industry uh, specifically towards truck drivers and i would probably go as far as say to even more to box truck drivers because you know we automatically get discredited um but anyway um you know your thoughts in the comments below